We joined Pete Boerter at Day to Dream Racing to take us through his runners for Hollywood Bets Durbanville on Tuesday. And Pete, in race one, you got Pointe Vecchio. She's uh, got the draw and looks to enjoy the distance. What type of runner are you expecting from her? Uh, Vicky, yeah, look, I think she she surprised us a little bit last time. She ran a good race because normally she just doesn't run at Durbanville. Um, so pretty much just expecting the same type of run, really. It's not really her, her course and, and never really done well there. But, um, yeah, she's very well within herself. And um, I, I think she's a horse that you probably got to include in your bets. But uh, it's, it's not her favorite course. So um, just can't go in with a lot of confidence. Race two, you've got Ubuku Bazana. I know that you've mentioned she can be a little bit quirky. What? Uh, how are you expecting her to go? Vicky, I'm really just hoping that things go well with her. Um, yeah, she's a, she, she's quite a difficult uh, difficult filly. Um, she's working very well at home, and she she she's looking nice, and she seems to be in a very good space at the moment. We we had to take her there to to pass her on on race day, and it all went well. So I, I'm quite hopeful that uh, that it goes well. She is going to be in need of this run a little bit. Um, you know, it's a first run back after a little bit of a break. Um, so she, she is going to need it a little bit, but um, I'm hoping that uh, she'll run a good race. It's not going to be easy from that draw. Uh, so we'll probably just try and um, tuck her in and, and, and let her run on. And hopefully uh, if the race all works out well, she can maybe run on and run into the, the back end of quartets. Um, so, yeah, well-being and, and, and that she, she's all good, but uh, just very hopeful. Race four, Princess Rhea, she took on the boys on a on a heavy track. Could we see a much better run from her this time around? Yeah, I think I, I'm qu I quite like this filly. I think she's she's a very nice filly, but she's a filly that's wanting a bit more ground. Um, th this really was just another run for, for the experience, you know, just to give her the experience around the turn and um, just step up slowly. Um, but she surprised me a little bit in her sprint up on Saturday. She sprinted up very well and... And, and for that reason, I, I know that we haven't uh, really done enough with her to, to be competitive. Um, and it is still a little bit uh, short for her. I think she wants a bit more ground. But just on the sprint up, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit hopeful of a good run. Um, you know, if she can surprise us, I'll be, I'll be over the moon. Um, but, but realistically, um, you know, I'll, I'll, if, if we had to run fifth, sixth, I'll, I'll, I'd also be happy with that because that's pretty much what we've, what we've done with her. That's been the plan so, so far. So. Race six, you've got Jovial. Um, she showed a better run when going the 1600 metres last time. Will he be better over even further? Yeah, he is a horse that wants a bit more, bit more ground. Um, Ozzy rode him last time, and he he ran a nice race, and um, you know he worked him again afterwards because I was going to step him up straight to a 1800 now, and um, he said to me, "Can I please just give him one more run over the 1600?" He just feels like he's just not quite there yet, and uh, another run over the 1600 will be good for him. So. I'm, I'm trusting him and um, we, 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 we're giving him this, this run. Um, I, I do feel he's going to run a much, much more improved race a, a, again. Um, I just don't feel he's quite done enough to be competitive yet. But, um, I, I, you know, he, he, he's also, you could probably put in your, in your, in your quartets, back end of quartets, um, because he is definitely um, a better, stronger horse than what he was last time. And his last run wasn't a bad run. I know it was quite a bit back. Um, but it wasn't really a bad run. He has come on from that, um, just not quite there yet. Race nine, the two runners. First them, Treasure Hunt. So she comes down and trip. What was the motivation be behind the drop in distance? Um, you know, she, uh, no, <laughs> she, she's just a, a, a filly that um, she, she's, she's in a space right now where, where she, she, she just needs to refine her form again and. Um, Peter Dubai had made a, a, a suggestion to me, like, why don't we just put her in a in a shorter race where she's run off her feet and 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 let her run on? And I thought about it, and I thought it's actually not a not a bad idea. You know, she 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 comes out running, she always does too much, um, and then just she's just not quite going through with it. So in a, in a race where she can be run off her feet and and hopefully run on and. Um, you know maybe just come on a lot from it if uh, if she doesn't do anything maybe drop in the ratings a little bit and you know just get into a more competitive uh, uh, position um but in saying that um she, she's working well and uh, i wouldn't be surprised if uh, if she had to be in the money uh, i know it's a bit short for her but um i wouldn't be surprised if she had to be in the money she's 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 looking very good she's <laughs> she's you know she's in a better space now than what she has been for a while your other runner's easy money, a bit of a wide draw, but she ran a heart out to run, uh, well, had to settle for second last time out. Could she repeat that type of run? 
Vicky, I think she's going to find it tougher this time. Um, she's she is well. She's she's very well. And um, had she had drawn uh, well, I would be I'd be quite confident about it. But uh, from that draw, uh, the type of horse that she is, unfortunately, I think we uh, we're in a position where we've got to just come out and put her in at the back of the field, and and hopefully she can run on and 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 earn. Um, but she's going to have a lot of work to do in the in the straight, so it's not going to be easy. Um, you've got to obviously include her um, in all your bets, but um, she, she's going to find it quite tough from that draw. Well, Pete, thank you for your comments and all the best. Thank you very much. That's uh, Pete Boiter taking us through his uh, horses and always lovely feedback and uh, valued uh, input from him.